Hi there, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about making bar plots in Seaborn. So the agenda for this video is the theory behind bar plots and how do we calculate them. Two, how to make a very simple bar plot from your data. Three, how to make your bar plot a bit more sophisticated and add more information to it. And at the end, I will show you how to present a bar plot to an audience, which I have kickstarted in my previous videos and has been well accepted. Before I go on, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and hit the bell to be notified that I post my videos. As a starter, let me remind you that Seaborn has three main functions. The rel plot to study the relation between data, the dis plot to study the distribution of data, and the cat plot to study categorical data. This means that you can combine and mix and match these plots, but for beginners, you will need to remember these top three categories, and then you can set the kind of those functions to the ones at the bottom. Let's talk about the theory. Here I have a bar plot on my screen from the tips data set from Seaborn library. I have different days on the X axis, Thursday to Sunday, and the amount of money people spent in a specific restaurant on the Y axis. In Seaborn, Bar plot shows point estimates and confidence intervals as bars. Here for Thursday in blue, there is point estimate, which is around 17.5, and there is a confidence interval in the black line. A bar plot represents a central tendency for a numerical variable with the height of each rectangle and provides some indication of the uncertainty around that. So this black line on the bar plot represents the uncertainty or the confidence interval. So where does this black bar come from? It comes from error bars, which I'm going to show you in a separate video. It is very important for you to remember that a bar plot shows the mean around that specific data set. So for example, here in blue, this top or the cap of the bar shows the mean of the amount of money people spent on a Thursday in that restaurant, which is here around $17.5. However, this black line is the amount of confidence. So how much there is wiggle room on Thursdays. So people might spend from $15 to $20. In summary, the theory of a bar plot is that we use bar plots for point estimates and confidence intervals in Seaborn. In Matplotlib, you will need to build the confidence interval yourself, but in Seaborn, they come by default, which is great. We use bar plots to understand the mean of that specific data. You can set it to be the median or the mode, but for now, by default, I'm just saying we use the mean and you plot the error bar on top of that. A very quick example would be that in this specific restaurant, on Fridays, people spend around $17. There might be Fridays that they spend $12 or some other Fridays they might spend $22. And that's the wiggle room or the confidence interval. Now that you know the theory behind a bar plot, let's go ahead and make our first bar plot. Like always, let's make a new Jupyter Notebook. Give it a proper name, call it Seaborn underscore. This video is number 11. And this one is for bar plots. Let's import Seaborn and give it an alias name of SNS. If you've been following my videos, you will know that Seaborn has free data sets that we can use. I'm just going to go ahead and use the tips data set from load data set function. So what it does, it loads the data. Now let's look at the top five rows of tips data. Total bill, so how much people spent in a restaurant, how much they tipped, what was their sex, were they a smoker or not, what day of the week it was, did they come for dinner or lunch, and what was the size of their guests? Were they four people, two people, whatsoever? If you want to follow along with me, I have left the link to this Jupyter Notebooks and all the files in my GitHub repository. You can find the link down in the description. Let's make a cat plot. Cat plot by default makes a strip plot. The link to the video up the top right. We need to set the kind to a bar plot. Now let's go ahead. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use SNS cat plot. The data is called tips data, the one I imported off the top. For X, I want the day value. I want to see how much are people spending on different days. So I want the day on the X axis. On my Y axis, I want the total amount of bill. This will give me a strip plot because if you have seen my video for strip plots, the link up the top right, the default function for cat plot is strip. Now, what I need to do, I just need to say set the kind to bar. This will produce a bar plot 
exactly like the one that is on the official Seaborn bar plot webpage, the link down in the description. This is a simplistic form of understanding how much people are spending on a daily basis. But what if I was interested in understanding if smokers are spending more or less than non-smokers? What I can do, I can go ahead and say hue equals smoker. It will give me two bar plots per each day. So for Thursday, I have a blue bar plot, which represents smokers, and I have an orange bar plot, which represents non-smokers. Thursdays, smokers spend more, Fridays less, Saturdays and Sundays more. So in general, smokers spend more money on a given day. If you were interested in rotating this bar plot, all you need to do is change X and Y. So I'm gonna make X to Y and Y to X. Now I'll have a horizontal bar, that probably it's easier to read because I've got the numeric numbers down here and I can just read this. If you wanna change the color palette, go ahead and call the palette parameter. Set two will give you these nice green and orange colors. If you wanna get the greens, you can get the greens in different shades of green. Also, you can change the color of the error bars. So if I go ahead and I say error color equals red, I will get red error bars. If you want to change their width, you can say, error width equals two, which will give you a thinner one. If I make it eight, it will give me a really thick error bar, which can be really handy sometimes. If you wanna change the fact that these two bar plots are side by side, and if you wanna plot them on top of each other, all you need to do is to set dodge to false. What it will do, it will plot them on top of each other, but I'm not really sure if it's a good idea because you might be masking a category at the back. So let me go back set it to true. I like this better. Just going to change the color to set one. This is a bit better and change this red to black to be more presentable. Cool. Now let me show you how I would present this bar plot to an audience. Here we have a bar plot on four different days of the week from Thursday to Sunday. The purpose of this study is to understand if smokers and non-smokers spend differently from a given data set from a specific restaurant. So we have smokers in red and non-smokers in blue. And in general, when you look at this graph, you can see that the smokers are generally spending more money in this specific restaurant because the amount of total bill on the x-axis for the red bar plots is generally higher. However, on Fridays, the non-smokers, which are in blue, spend more money. On an overall picture, we can see that the amount of bill from Thursday to Sunday is in an uptrend. From a confidence perspective, what we can observe is that generally the blue color, which is non-smokers, they have a smaller range of spending. This translates into it is less probable that they will spend really high or really low. They tend to stick to the same amount of money that they spend. I'm really hoping that I can be of some help to someone out there. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have heaps of content coming your way. Thanks.